Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm here with Ms. Letty. We've actually got some people here delivering some stuff. I just stopped and talked to them for a few minutes. She did amazing. Let's not forget that on, I think, day one or two, we also had some people here and she barked at them. But no sign of barking today. And I wanted to show you what a finished dog looks like on their go home day, how to use some of their stuff. Yesterday I showed you inside behavior. Today I will show you her walk her long distance recall, her outside downstays, things like that. But now I've got her in this beautiful off-leash heel. You can use your remote to keep her there. Use the tone, use the stem, use your information with your body and your leg. You can make constant turns to make sure she's paying attention. You can stop and have her sit. That's a good attention getter. Stay. You can have her stay until you either release her or call her again come into another heel and right into that position very good girl so now I've got her in a downstay outside nice little shady patch we've got a nice little commotion going on so this is really good for her to practice around distractions and right now she's just sniffing checking stuff out this is okay if she started to get way too intense wrinkled forehead ears straight up body stiffens you can actually click the remote and have her relax even more and go into a double down. That's a 10 and it brings her chin right down to the ground and just relaxes her even more. I love that feature. You don't have to use that every time she's in the down stay, but if she's struggling and needs help relaxing her mind, you can absolutely do that. We're gonna do a long distance recall now. So notice now, no matter how far away I move from her, she stays in her down, even with people walking around behind her and a big truck walking around behind her. So I'm gonna use my tone here. I will say the word C-O-M-E if she needs me to. Come, good girl. There you are, good job. And she should come and she should sit right in front of me. Good girl. And from here, heel, we can go right into an off-leash heel. And you can do this for as long as you can all over your neighborhood if you want. I do recommend you having the long line dragging or you can even hold on to the end of the long line. That's just an extra layer of safety. Notice how I make turns. She's right there with me. It's because she's paying attention to me more than everything else. Why? Because if she makes a mistake, I correct her. It's that simple. I suggest you to be dragging the long line with Letty especially is because she has a very high and strong prey drive towards bunnies, rabbits, small fluffy animals. And that is something genetically inside her DNA. No training can take that out of her, but we can manage it as best we can. And part of management is having a layer of safety and using that long line. Look at that beautiful heel. Sit. Good girl. Down. Good. Even with all the commotion. All right, and now I'm gonna show you the best part, her release word. And if you want her to be free, go have fun, you're gonna look at her and say, break, good girl. What is all that stuff? I'm gonna show you one more thing. I do not have her in command right now. She's just choosing to follow me. Our place bed. Your place bed can be inside or outside. All you do to get her on the place bed is point to it and say place. Place. If she doesn't get on, you can click your remote, give her more information but she should stay there until released. If she gets on but doesn't lay down, you can just simply click. Good girl, and now she's there. You can use this outdoor parties, barbecues. I mean, this can be anything. And if you don't have a place bed, you can actually use the picnic table. I mean, you can use anything with a boundary. Very good girl.